Hello learners, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raurkela in the year 2020, current time a mathematics teacher. Now let's see how to solve this given set of equations with the help of Kramer's rule. It's a pretty simple method. Uh, I'm sure many of you might be knowing, but still I'll go a bit into detail so that in case if you're new, fine. So th these are my given set of equations. First thing, my first target is to write them in a matrix for in a matrix equation. This is a general equations. Now I want to write it as a matrix equation. How would I do it? See, first write down the given equations. x minus y plus 3 is equal to 5, 4x plus 2y minus z equal to 0, x plus 3y plus z equal to 5. It's clear? Now next. The given equations, these given equations can be written as like this. It's very simple, okay? What you need to do is just write down the coefficients of x, y, z. Uh, here the coefficient of x is 1, that's why here there is 1, and here it's my uh, coefficient of y is minus 1, and uh, here the coefficient of z is 3, so 1 minus 1, 3. Likewise, 4, 2 minus 1, and 1, 3, 1. And then if you multiply this with small x, small y, small z, this will be equal to 5, 0, 5. That's it. This is a matrix equation. I'm going to take the first matrix as capital A, the second one as capital X, and the third one as capital D. So ultimately, what is the equation that I would get? Capital A x equal to D. Fine. That's right. Now let's move forward. In this method, in this method, my target is to get x, y, z. Okay, x, y, z. And what is the formula? x is nothing but delta 1 by delta, y is nothing but delta 2 by delta, and z is nothing but delta 3 by delta. Now, what are these deltas? I'll explain as we go along this video. Now, first, first thing, what is this delta? Okay, Delta is nothing but determinant of matrix. Determinant of matrix. This matrix you're saying, it's determinant. Uh, no, nothing much. The, uh, the first thing to do is, is to find out this determinant, because if this is 0, we cannot use this method. You can get a solution. You, this method won't work if this is 0. So the first important task is to verify whether this is zero or not. Let's get started. I hope you guys know how to expand a determinant. If not, I'll just give a brief uh, summary. Uh, for, if I'm expanding along row one, okay, if I'm expanding along row one, these are my three elements, one minus one, three. Now, now, uh, now consider the first element, one into, my, my next step would be one into, uh, if you close the row and column in which one is there, you would get some elements, right? Two minus one, three, one. That's what one into determinant of two minus one, three, one. Next, in between there will be minus. That is a part of a formula, you could say, if you consider this as formula, this way of expansion. The second element, minus one. Now close the row and column in which, close the row and column in which the minus one is there. What I get, four minus one, one, one. That's what is there in this uh, small determinant. Now next, plus three into, plus three into, what is the other determinant? Four, two, one, three. Four, two, one, three. Fine. Now next. These small determinants are pretty easy to handle. Uh, this one would be nothing but 2 into 1 minus 3 into minus 1. So 2 ones are 2 and uh, minus 3 into minus 1 is minus 3. That's one part. Now next, what is minus into minus? It is plus 1. And then 4 ones are 4 minus of minus 1. That's what I have here. Plus 3 into 4 threes are 12. And then 12 minus 2. That's what you put some, something like this cross subtract. Like this first do this and subtract. That's it. Now, if you'll simplify, 2 minus of minus 3 is 2 plus 3. And then 4 minus of minus 1 is 4 plus 1. And then 12 minus 2 is 10. 2 plus 3 is 5. 1 into 5 plus 1 into 5 plus 3 into 10. So 5 plus 5 plus 30, which is nothing but 40. So first thing, my determinant is not equal to 0. Since this determinant is not equal to 0, I can apply Kramer's rule and get the solution to this set of equations. Fine. Now, next. Next, what I'm going to write, you can just write down what I spoke uh, after this. Now, next. Now, next, my target is to find out delta 1. If you see, how did I get this delta 1? How did I get this delta 1? It's pretty simple, okay? You guys know, understood what is this delta? Fine. Now, in this delta, in this delta, replace the first column, replace the first column of delta with the elements of D. What are our elements of D? If you guys remember. See, D is nothing but 505, 505. So in this first column, if you'll replace it with 505, what I'd get is 505 and then minus 1, minus 3. This is what you would get. This is my delta 1. 505 and the rest of it is same. Fine. Now let's expand this determinant. 5 into debt of 2, 1, 2 minus 1, 3, 1 and minus 1, minus of minus 1 into debt of uh, 0, minus 1, 5, 1 and then plus 3 into uh, debt of 0, 2, 5, 3. Fine. That should do the task. Now next. Now, again, basic expansion, 5 into 2, 1s are 2, 2 minus of minus 3, plus 1 into 0, 1s are 0, minus of minus 5, 
3 into 0 minus 10. If you keep simplifying, this is what you would get, okay? Ultimately, my delta 1 is 0. It's totally okay if delta 1 is 0. Don't bother about it. It's totally okay. There's nothing a rule that delta 1 should not be. Delta 1, delta 2, delta 3 can be 0, but delta should not be. Fine. Now, next. Next, I need to find out delta 2. Now, for the delta 2, for the delta 2, if you go, this is our delta, okay? This is our delta. Previously, I replaced the first column of delta with the elements of D. Now, I need to replace the second column of delta with the elements of capital D. What are they? Phi 0 phi. So, in this place, I'd get phi 0 phi. That's my delta 2. That's it again. Basic expansion after this. Fine. So, 1 into debt of this minus 5 into debt of that plus 3 into debt of 4 into 1. Fine. Fine. Basic expansion. I'll go a bit fast. 1 into 0, 1 is 0, minus of minus 5, minus 5 into 4, 1 is 4, 4 minus of minus 1, plus 3 into 4, 5 is 20, minus 0, fine. Uh, if I'll solve it, minus of minus is plus, so I'd get 0 plus 5 and 4 plus 1 and 3 into 20, so 1 into 5 minus 5 into 5, 4 plus 1 is 5, and then like this, if I'll go 5 minus 5, I'm sorry, 5 minus 25 plus 60, which is nothing but, minus 20 plus 60, which is nothing but 40, fine, if I'll simplify now, my next task is to get delta 3. How to get that delta 3? Okay. Again, come back to our delta. Now, delta 1, del by hearing delta 1, delta 2, I'm damn sure you might have figured it out right now. What you need to do is you should just have to replace the elements of column 3 with the elements of D. So, here I'd get 505. 5. Here I'd get 505. 5. Just do that much. That would be my delta 3. Uh, rest of this is same. 1 minus 1, 4, 2, 1, 3 will remain. Now, if you were to see that, that would be nothing but this. As I mentioned, 1 minus 2, 4, 2, 1, 3, and then 5, 0, 5. Now, yes, again, the same process. 1 into debt of 2, 0, 3, 5, minus of minus 1 into debt of 4, 0, 1, 5. And then 5 into debt of 4, 2, 1, 3, fine, just goes. Now, just expand 2, 5, 10, minus 3 into 0, 0. Uh, minus of minus is plus. 4, 5, 20, minus 0. And then 4, 3 is 12, minus 1 into 2. Just keep solving it. Ultimately, I'll get 80. Now, yes, now after you are done with all this, after you are done with all this, by Kramer's rule, by Kramer's rule, x is nothing but delta 1 by delta. Our delta 1 was 0 and delta was 40. So, 0 by 40 is nothing but 0. Fine. Now, next, y is nothing but delta 2 by delta, which is nothing but 40 by 40, which is equal to 1. Next, z is nothing but delta 3 by delta, which is nothing but 80 by 40, which is nothing but equal to 2. Therefore, the solution is x equal to 0, y equal to 1, and z equal to 2. It would be nice if you will write, you know, delta uh, in between, you could write like delta one is obtained by uh, replacing the first column of uh, delta with the elements of uh, D like that you could write. And then delta two is obtained by that sentences would be good. If you write it in your exam, it would show that, you know, you are understanding the concept and then putting the steps down. It would give a good impression to whoever is going through your, uh, you know, exam paper. Fine. And not just this question I've made, many other questions related to famous rule, cause order method, and like some more questions related to determinants. Fine, if you'll browse my channel and look up, look up for some playlists and videos, I'm sure you've got, got to find out whatever it's relevant to you. And if you like this video solution, please hit the like button. It can encourage me to make many more of such videos. And not just that, if you are first time coming, if this is your first time coming across to my channel, please do subscribe to it. Thank you. Once again, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raurkela in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Thank you.